Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on how to insert glass eyes with loops into a handmade or vintage teddy bear. The tools you will need are a long doll needle, about 12 centimetres, a pair of scissors, extra strong thread and glass eyes with loops. And of course a teddy bear in need of eyes. Eye position can really alter the personality of your bear so take your time deciding on the correct position before you begin. There are a few tools you can use to help you with this. I like to use true eyes because they also help me decide on the size of the eye I'm going to use. But if you don't have them, bobble head pins will do just fine. Place the pins or true eyes into the head. I find it really useful to use something like a seam as an original guideline. You'll probably find that you need to reposition these eyes several times before you're happy with the position. This one needs to move down a little tiny bit. There we go. And that looks good to me now, but the real test, turn him upside down. For some reason, viewing your bear from this position makes it much easier to see if those eyes are level and they're not. Let's bring this one up into this position a little bit and there. I'm happy with that now so let's turn him back and have a look. That's great. As a guide I cut each length of thread to about four times the depth of the bear's head. We then thread one of these through each of the loops on the back of the eyes and just lay them out there ready. And now we're ready to insert these into the head. Okay, now we're going to thread these two ends of the extra strong thread through the eye of the needle. And believe me, it might look like I'm doing this first time, but I'm not. Once that's through, we pull out the true eye just a little bit. So we can see where it's going into the mohair. Pop the end of the doll needle into the same hole. Remove the true eye and push that needle through. We're going to go right through to the back of the head. We're going to go right down here to the uh, nape, as close to the cut pin joint as we can without sticking your finger. And then bring it out. Pull it all the way through. Make sure that your eye has gone right in and then pull the threads through the needle and leave those hanging. And don't worry, he didn't feel a thing. He's completely anaesthetized. We're going to give those threads a tug just to make sure the eye is securely in and we're ready for the next one. We're going to repeat that entire procedure coming out at the back of the head just a few millimeters away from the first two threads. So I've repeated that procedure and I now have two sets of threads coming out of the back of the head. One for the left eye, one for the right eye. So make sure they're both tugged nice and tight, that you're happy finally with the positioning, that they've both sunk into the head properly. Then you need a, a spare pair of thumbs. Place those thumbs over the eyes and give them a good little push, a bit of pressure, which makes it much easier for you to knot the threads at the back. Give them a last tug, a single knot first of all, and then have a look. Have those eyes gone into the head evenly? Is one still sticking up? If not, you're ready to do your second knot. And I quite like to do a third knot as well. Then they're not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Do you see what I did then? And finally, we need to hide these threads. So what we're going to do is pass them through the eye of the doll needle again. I'm just putting two in this time. I'll come back for the other two. And we're going to put this needle back into the head at 
just about the same position that we came out so as close to that knot as you can and it doesn't really matter where you come out because the ends of the thread are going to disappear inside the head so you come out here and we really pull this tight as tight as we can and then snip those threads as close to the head as we can without catching the fabric and they'll disappear back into the head repeat that with the other two threads and he's done that concludes our tutorial video. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe to the channel, give us some feedback and a like. There are more videos coming soon.